Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a pack. Uncle Roundy is pretty tired and in a fair amount of physical discomfort. But he has a pack. And so the show, as they say, must go on. We got Jumpstart here today, as promised at the end of the last video. Uh, in the end of the last video, our friend Mr. Little provided that pack. And some congratulations are in order for Mr. Little, by the way. Uh, he purchased his very first Jumpstart pack. And what did he pull out of it but an Allosaurus Shepherd? The most valuable card in Jumpstart. Congratulations, buddy. It's all downhill from here. And speaking of downhill, I cannot hope to match that, I don't think, unless I'm lucky enough to pull an Allosaurus Shepherd myself. Can I do it? Will I do it? Let's find out right now. A lands. Ooh, lands. Lands, okay. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Lands is a good pack, too. That's a good theme. I'm into it. I'm here for it. I'm getting pretty excited. What are we what are we in store for here? We're in store for land development, land land drops for days, multiple land drops per turn. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're going to find ourselves today a oh, a mythic hydra, the Olvenwald hydra. As a matter of fact, it has reach and its power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a land card, put it on the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle your library. I like Hydras. Hydras are big and juicy. And I would like to build a Hydra deck someday if it's not too prohibitively expensive. We've got the classic Cultivate spell. This is probably not the best lands pack that we could have gotten. We had a chance of pulling an Oracle of Moldiah, and I would have really liked that. That would have been a... Nice big hit right there, but I will take the Mythic Hydra any day of the week. We got the Awakener Druid. When it enters the battlefield, target forest becomes a 4-5 green tree folk creature. For as long as Awakener Druid remains on the battlefield. Interesting. Interesting. We got a Feral Hydra here. Uh, what is that all over it? Is that, has it got like a family of bats living on it or something? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with its mane there. Enters battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. For three mana, put a plus one plus one counter on Feral Hydra. Any player may activate this ability. Ooh, yeah. Let other players pump it. Get it get it really going there. Got some uh got Zendikar's Royal here. Uh it, it has landfall without without actually using that keyword, but it gives us a token. We got the old crushing canopy. We have Elemental Uprising. Target land you control becomes a 4-4 elemental creature with haste until end of turn. It must be blocked if able. Fadia Seer. Green plus one. Tap, draw a card, and reveal it. If it isn't a land card, discard it. Wow, that's that's quite the saucy little gamble right there. Got the Fertilid. They, they're trying to throw Fertilids in everything these days. I am not having it. Sylvan Ranger. Got the Sylvan Ranger. It, when it enters, you may search for a basic land card. And the Thriving Grove, of course. And then, uh, oh, another creature behind it. An enchantment behind it. Sorry, a Vastwood Zendikon. Enchanted Land is a 6-4 green elemental creature. Boy, they are really... I thought this would be more about, like, getting more lands out. It's, like, more about turning your lands into creatures. Which is weird and not really my jam. But, you know, it is what it is. Wild Heart Invoker. And then we have this beautiful forest right here truly truly a landscape of land landy land proportions and then all the good stuff well i did not get myself no no allosaur shepherd but we do still have a pretty big hydra for the win i don't know i don't know what the value on this hydra is i would guess it at least paid for the pack hydras generally Hydras sometimes they either go for a whole lot or a whole little. Like, not like I, I feel like this is somewhere in the five to six range. I could be wrong, but uh, I like hydras, and uh, they they definitely have a lot of potential. So I will see you guys next time for more uh, 
juicy. Actually, this would not go in the Hydra deck that I want to build because it's not dependent on an, uh, on having X in its casting cost. Uh, still a good Hydra, though. Hydras are fun. Hail Hydra. Okay, don't actually hail Hydra. They're terrible people. But uh, I'll see you guys next time uh, for more crack-packing deliciousness.